Australia is hosting Pakistan for a summer tour, and they tried to get a little sneaky on them in the first test match. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Just a fun little moment here where the ball goes to Marnus, flips it to Alex Carey. He hits the stumps. They all celebrate. They all go, wait, what? What happened? Alex, did you hit the stumps? And the keeper with the gloves on, he's like, I hit him. The bells didn't move. I hit him. But uh, yeah, he looked at, I told you, I, I hit it. Nothing happened. So here's what happened. The ball comes in. The batsman, his name is uh, Shafiki. Is that how you say it? He's faced 113 balls, scored 39 runs. They want to get him out. He just blocks that one. It goes right to Marnus, who's going to no-look backhand it to the keeper, Kerry, as he's going, uh, Alex, right to him. Batter doesn't see that they've done that. Now the keeper is going to wait till he picks his foot up because he has to be behind that white line, but he has to be touching the ground if he's like in the air. Even if he was to get scared of the ball and jump and they hit the wickets, he'd be out. You got to be grounded. So he's waiting, waiting gently. And then he hits the wood. And maybe there's like some inner conscious to Alex Carey here, the wicket keeper, because he had the controversial stumping of Bearstone. He's like, I don't know, man. Or, or it's like, hey, if we're going to sneakily get you out, I'll sneakily touch the wood. But nothing happens. And they're like, what are you doing? You didn't touch him hard enough. And I actually like that you can hear the stump mics and you can hear all the everything they're saying. Oh, 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 the no look pass is great. Marnus is great hands. I've done a lot of videos on him. And then look at this. And I think even if it went to review, which it didn't, they're like, well, let's not review that. But if you split screen it up, I think he actually gets his foot down before he really flicks the stump. I don't know if they look at reviews this closely. But watch the foot's kind of in the air there. I don't even know if it looks like it is in the air because you're going to see it come down. And he still hasn't hit the wood. And now I think the foot just came down. So let's go back a little bit. I think the foot comes down right there. Where you can see his toes kind of, you know, the rest of the foot moves, his toes don't. And he hasn't hit the wood yet. Hits the wood there. And he just very gently touches it. Now, there's these bales on top of the stumps. And they have to get disturbed and move for it to be out. You can't just hit the stumps. So he could have just taken it and whacked the stumps and got him out. But maybe there's like, I don't know, some inner conscious everything. I don't want another controversy on my hands after the ashes. Or he's just trying to be sneaky and like gentlemanly. Or it's just like a gentle reminder. Hey, we're going to do this, I guess. Marnus fucking tossed me the ball. I didn't want to do it. Anyway, two overs later, Lyon gets his man the correct way right to Warner, who makes the catch. And let me see. Let me see. He's a right-hander. And that's a leg break, I think. And cricket... They, t they, they name the pitches designed on um, where they start. And in baseball, it's where they end up. Like we say back foot slider. And they would call that like an, an outside slider. I don't know. I'd always get tripped up on this because it's, it's different in baseball and cricket uh, from the point of view of breaking pitches. So that pitch from line, he's a right-hander. It's going to drop. And then we would say, you know, like um, a change up or screwball. He's going to drop in the arm side run. See, we would, we, we would say, we say it from the pitcher because we say arm side run and they say it from the batter, leg break or off break, which is opposite of leg break. Yeah, that's it. We say it from the pitcher, they say it better. It goes that way. He's trying to hit that the mid wicket, misses, edges. Warner takes the catch, took the spin, boom, hits the ground, goes even more. Got past him a little bit, didn't get in the middle. He's out. No trickery about that besides the trickery in the pitch, which spun a trickier way than he thought it was going to spin. The end of this video really suffered. And thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring the video. I appreciate them. appreciate you guys for watching. appreciate the people that don't even uh, understand cricket and watch this. You guys are the best.